Welcome back to Learn Economia. Here we are to discuss the concept of Leon Diff paradox. Let's see what it is. This is an economic finding that would go against the predictions of Hirschel-Ockerin theory, or this theory is also known as the famous H.O. model. As per Hirschel-Ockerin theory or H.O. model, countries would be specializing in the production and export of those commodities that would be making use of the most abundant factor in that nation intensively. So, intensive use of abundant factor, this is what is taken into consideration. Simultaneously, these nations would import those commodities that uses their scarce factor of production in intensive fashion. So, abundant factor means available in plenty. And scarce factor means so, this would be very limited, very limited, very less or you could say very less. So, let us consider the details here. Moving to the details of Heschel Ruhlin theory, the, the theory has been put forward by two prominent economists, Ellie Heschel and Birchall Ockling. Uh, you can see the pictures, images of these two people here. Uh, so, as per these two people, as, as per their model, Hesho Rohling model, labor abundant country. So, what does it mean by labor abundant country? A country that has got plenty of labor. So, that country would specialize in the production and export of labor intensive goods because since labor is available in plenty in that nation, you could find that the wage would be comparatively lesser because if wage is more, that would be creating too much of unemployment of labor here. So, wage would be comparatively lesser and you are making use of maximum labor for production and you would be producing some commodities that would intensively use labor. So, such a nation would be producing those goods which would be using labor intensive technique of production and thus goods are produced and exported. These goods are exported to capital abundant countries because capital abundant countries would be specializing in the production of capital intensive goods. They would be having capital intensive production technique which would be making too much of capital in its use of production. Now, coming to the details, we could find that the idea given by hesho rohlin model, which we have seen uh, now, this is being criticized by a very famous economist, Vasily Leonder. So, what this person has uh, done here is that, you can find this person over here. Uh, so, in 1950s, in the 1950s, he was using the US data. He was using the US data and he was using an input output model. Input output model or input output method so as to see what is actually going on. So, in that data when he was using it in his input output method, he could found that U.S. was exporting those commodities that were more labor intensive. So, we know that uh, U.S. has got more capital. So, this is a capital abandoned nation. That means capital is too much plenty here compared to labor. But what this nation was doing here is it was exporting goods that were more labor intensive than what it was importing. So, what happened was that uh, this finding has contradicted with the predictions of HO model. It contradicts with the predictions and the analysis of HO model. So, this is called the famous Leon Diff paradox. So, capital abundant country like a US should be exporting capital intensive goods because capital is plenty in the US, right? 
this is what is plenty in the US. So as per the HO model, since US is uh, US by then was and today also it's a capital abundant country. So capital abundant country is uh, since US was a capital abundant country, it should be exporting capital in density good and should be importing labor in density good. But this was not happening. And Leon D findings showed uh, some opposite pattern which contradicted with the HR model and this is called the Leon D paradox. The US was exporting relatively deeper intensive commodities as well as importing capital intensive commodities. So there was a conflict of ideas coming, conflict of findings. The findings were conflict with each other, contradictory with each other. Then we could find some possibilities for Leon diff paradox. There can be differences. Differences can happen in many forms, especially technological differences might be one of the reasons that have led to Leon diff paradox. That is one way of explaining Leon diff paradox. It might be due to some quality differences, quality based differences that is if the US exported high quality goods and imported low quality goods, it could be another possible explanation. Then uh, we could find that capital mobility can be uh, one of the aspects here to consider because HO model always believed in the immobility of factors or it believed that cap factors are not mobile but if capital is more mobile this is what uh, right now we can find in reality so if that is the case you can find another explanation for Leon Diff paradox this is reality situation and this different economies were analyzing why this contradiction happened and another important explanation uh, that we could find here is that some, uh, some other set of economists came and told that uh, the ability of the US people, ability of US workers, that was much more. So the productivity of US workers was much more allowing them to produce more products and that was why they were exporting labor intensive goods. So these are some uh, different explanations which explains the possibilities of Leon Diff paradox in uh, the US data. What is the significance of Leon Diff paradox here? The paradox was actually leading to several debates. There were several, several discussion happened because it was contradictory, it was conflicting and thus it was raising several questions regarding the validity and applicability of HO model. So it highlighted the complexities of the real world trade relationship, why we are dealing with the trade and nowadays we are not dealing with simple simple way of conducting trade the entire trade relation is much much complex we are dealing with uh, globalization and for the very same reason some in, uh, some event happening on one part of the world will have its impact on the rest of the world and this leon diff paradox was also highlighting the limitations of ho model which was having some simplified assumptions. Then we could have many studies that were supporting the findings of Leon Diff paradox. Some other studies were opposing the findings of Leon Diff paradox. Anyway, we could find that Leon Diff paradox was a kind of refining the HO model or you can find that it's an uh, yes it's a contradiction that happened but several economists considered it as an extension to HO model. So they believe that this is expanding HO model. Therefore we could find that 
Do Leontief paradox serves as a reminder that economic theories may not always align with the complexities of real world observation. So uh, whenever we go with assumptions, the more we assume our theory would be less fit to the real world situation. So the more we assume, the theory can work only with more assumptions. So that will be creating contradictory results when we compare the theory with the real world situation and this is what happened in the case of H.O. model and that is what has been told by many other economists. So that is all about the concept of Leon de Paradox. Hope you could understand. Thank you for watching. You can like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos. You can also join our free Telegram community. I will be providing the link of the same in the description box. Also, you can download the Learn Economy app for which also I will be providing the link in the description box. Thank you.